Some people should not be parents. That is today's topic on The Ranting Redhead. Thank you for tuning in. I am your host, Aiden, and I apologize if my voice is a little different. I'm coming off of a cold. That's why I haven't done really any episodes this week. I probably could have, but you know what? I did not I didn't think you'd want to hear my my awful voice. So but it's been a week and I got to persevere. So, okay. Today's topic, as I mentioned, some people should not be parents. Now, I started thinking about this when I was at work. I I literally just got to work, all right? And I see this dad holding his kid. It looked like this kid could barely walk, but he was holding him in his arms. All right. And he's just feeding the, look, could not have been two years old. Just feeding his kid, just force feeding him Mountain Dew being like, oh no, man, it it, like, don't worry. I don't, he didn't say that, but like, oh, don't worry, Johnny, this is good for you. Uh, And I'm like, like, why are you a parent? You're, You're feeding your kid Mountain Dew? And he goes, oh, oh, it's it, drink this. It's good for you. It's like the, it's like the weird. I started thinking about the Weird Al video, Fat, when it's the parody of Bad, and the one guy just go, holds up a cheeseburger. Yo, eat this, man. It's good for you. <laughs> that's what I started thinking about, and that's what most parents are today. And some people should not be parents. I'm just gonna say it. Like when a parent says, like, oh, Mountain Dew's good for you. Yeah, it's about as good as a sledgehammer is to the balls. <laughs> like, and here's the thing. I get parents make mistakes. Not every parent is perfect. But when you're feeding your, two, your, your two-year-old Mountain Dew, and, like, the kid did not even look like he wanted it, wanted it at all. But he was like, no, no, drink this. It's good for you. You, you got to drink that Mountain Dew if you want to be big and strong. And I'm going to get... I'm going to get killed for saying this, but I, this is what, what I believe. If you cannot take care of yourself, you should not be able to take care of a kid. It, not at all. That's ridiculous. Because then you're already bringing your kid into a rough situation where they don't have a choice. All right? You have a choice to better your life. But a kid does not. A kid is forced to stay there. And it's borderline child abuse if you if you can't afford to feed your kid. Or you can't afford to give them the best living situation. Like there was one, like I said, at work, there was one family, just just real shit rat types. <laughs> and they had this kid. And I'm like, I just feel so bad for this kid. I feel really bad because I can only imagine what their living environment is like. Parent to another family looked like they were looked like they were perfectly fine folks. And I'm like, you know what? I guarantee you that kid will grow up to be normal, at least. I don't know. I, is it just me? Like, I, If you can't afford to take care of yourself, you should not be able to take care of a kid. And here's the thing. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Like, if you want to live your life, like, in any way, do what you want. I mean, look, and nobody's going to change no matter what I say. But I'm just saying, like, think about this kid that if if you are listening right now, okay, and you're thinking about having a kid, but you really can't afford to take care of your own life, don't have a kid because they're going to be brought up in such a disadvantage and you have no idea. Yes, it's all, it's lovely. Oh, yeah, we fucked and had a kid. Oh, how lovely. We have a kid. Nobody cares about a kid. Everybody hates kids. All right. I'm just going to say everybody should hate kids at least. But yeah, going back to what I was saying is if you can't raise your kid right, it's almost child abuse. I mean, think about it. Like, it's, there's certain types of people where, and you know what, I'm going to say this as well. Fuck it. I don't care. If you do not, if you are not smart enough to take care of yourself, you should not have a kid at all. Like, okay. If you are, if you hear somebody saying this is. I don't know, but if you hear somebody saying like, yeah, well, we couldn't afford to take our kid out to McDonald's for the fifth time this week, so so we had to go back home and fluff up the cushions so we can get some fleas and roast them over an open fire. You know, uh, I mean, you might think we run out, but hey, when it comes to our house and fleas, it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. (laughs) If you hear somebody saying that, they should not have kids. (laughs) Where did that come from? <laughs> hey, but you know, if you get people dumb enough to stop procreating, then perhaps, just maybe, 
the future generations of this world will be even smarter because you're kill not killing off, but you're you're putting an end to the stupidity. How about that? Just try it. Just try it for one generation. We've screwed up many. Let's what? Why not screw up another? Come on, try it out. And if you're one of these people, God help you. But if you're one of these people that is like, oh, well, we have to have kids. Our love is just so big. We have to share it with a kid. Get a dog. Just get a dog or something. They're easier to take care of. They're better. Think about it this way, all right? You get a dog. You leave him home for three hours. Let's say you leave a dog home for six hours and by themselves they can take care of themselves fine you can't leave a kid alone for like a baby alone for six hours unfortunately i mean what are the those shit all over the house or something this is why i don't have kids that and i'm smart enough not to and i'd be lying if i said there weren't other reasons you know but that's not important right now <laughs> i mean the world is overpopulated as it is why not stop why not do this world a service and stop spreading your genes to everybody Come on, do yourself a favor. Make make the world a better place and stop having kids. I mean, I I would be I would be delighted to see that. And this is why I try not to be friends with anybody that's planning on having a kid because you because every parent does the same thing. Where it's like, when are you going to come see the baby? Seinfeld did a whole episode about this. When are you going to come see the baby? When are you going to come see the baby? I don't give a crap about your baby. They mean nothing to me. Have I been friends with them for however many years? No. Do I want to be? No. <laughs> like, if anyone listening out there is friends with me or knows me pretty well, and you're planning on having a kid, do me a favor and stop knowing me. Nothing personal, just your lifestyle choices I don't care for, and I don't want to be dragged into your bullshit. I mean, I don't want to hear stories, but I was like, yeah, you know, L little Debbie, she shit all over the cr all over her bed today, and well, we had to clean it up. And, and who cares? Babies do that. I'm aware. You chose to have this life. That's the other thing. If you choose to have a kid, you have no right to complain about anything that a kid does. I'm sorry, but you 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 get no sympathy from me. If you're tired, you you deserve to be tired. You chose to have a kid. Uh, having a kid is not easy. So, you know what? Don't complain to me. Don't be like, hey, can you watch the kid so we can go out for a night? Fuck you. <laughs> Why should I give up one of my nights? I mean, granted, I'm probably not doing anything except, you know, you know, eating Cheetos and playing a video game. But, I, you know what? I don't want to give that up so I can, so I can hear... <laughs> While you go out and have a nice dinner. I don't care about that. What I would love to see is one of my friends, if they get pregnant, have a kid. And if, you know, they still want to be friends with me, all they have to do is say, Aiden, I don't want you to see the kid. Let's go out and have a fun time. Terrific. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That that I will allow. And no talking about your baby unless, you know, you're going to bash it because I love juicy gossip. <laughs> I love hearing stories like that. Where it's like, yeah, you know, the dog almost ate the baby. Do tell. <laughs> I, I'd want to hear that kind of story. I just don't want to hear like, yeah, you know, the baby spit up again today. Well, either call a doctor if you're concerned or shut the fuck up. <laughs> and that's the other thing I don't get. Everybody loves to worship the child. Oh, you can't, you can't discipline your child. They're just angels. They can't be touched at all yet the parents are the first one to complain and say don't ever have kids <laughs> does that make any sense to you and child worship is completely bullshit why should i worship a child because he can sit uh, because he's, he can sit on the ground shake his hands and go ah where's uh, where, okay why should why should we be a why should we be worshiping that are we, are we really that dumb People don't go, I mean, I am not a religious guy at all, but people go to church to worship God or whatever God they believe in. They go to church to worship because they think there's some kind of higher power up there. And you know what? If that's what you choose to believe, that's what you choose to believe. I don't care. Just don't talk to me about it. But you know what? Parents always like to worship a kid because they can go, ah! So this is where we're at, huh? Yeah, we... That's how dumb we are. We worship the fact that a child can go, nah, 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 nah. 
Ooh, what a big accomplishment for humanity. Let us worship at the altar of the diaper. I would be such a great dad if I was one because of my views. I just guarantee it. I guarantee it. But I have no desire to ever be a dad. I mean, I don't love anything. I don't love anything that much. So I, not enough to expand to a kid. I don't lo I don't care about anything or really anybody that. I mean, I obviously love my family and whatnot, but you know what? I don't love anything to the point where I want to have a kid. That's that to me is just that's an excuse. That's an excuse to bang. And you know, oops, we accidentally got knocked up. Oh well, you know, it was just it was that our love was so big we wanted to have a kid. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that's what it was. And anybody who says that, just go up to the, just go up to the, just go up to the man or woman and just say, hey, you know what? Next time, wrap it up or shut the fuck up, and be master of your domain, as Jerry Seinfeld once said. And with that, I know my voice is getting even worse, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you all so much for listening, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.